Hi everybody, it's Liz from Zuniberry Designs. I have a little Etsy store and I'll leave that link below if you'd like to take a look. All right, why are you frustrated by the white space around the digital planner or digital journal that you have just purchased from Etsy, from a designer? I'm gonna let you know why. There are two main reasons. And the first reason is what iPad and what note-taking app did the creator make their digital planner for? And the second reason is what iPad and note-taking app are you using? All right, so let's start. Here is a list of the newest iPads that are out there right now. The iPad Pro 12.9, fifth generation, which is what I'm working on, and it has a four by three ratio. Now it's important to know the ratios of your iPad because in terms of digital planning, if you are creating on a four by three ratio iPad, and someone is buying it who is on a iPad Pro 11 third generation 10.7 ratio iPad, the planner is not going to fit the same exact way. There will be wasted space. Um, just to go through all of the other iPads out there, iPad Air fourth generation has a 23 by 16 ratio. iPad ninth generation has the same ratio as the Pro 12.9. The iPad mini has a three by two ratio and ratio simply means the ratio of the longer side to the shorter side. Okay, so I am a creator and I create on this iPad, the iPad Pro 12.9, and I make two different types of digital planners, one for note shelf and one for good notes. And I'm gonna explain why I have to make two different um, digital planners because right now we are in the note shelf app and as you can see the toolbar at the top takes up a very little real estate on this iPad Pro 12.9 at the top there's just a little bit of the, this is the toolbar there's no drop down menu and it takes up this amount of space so I can if I scroll back to my cover you can see that it fits beautifully from top to bottom, side to side. And when I use my calendar, it fits the entire real estate in this app on this iPad Pro. When we go into GoodNotes though, and I'm just gonna go into GoodNotes here, you can see that the real estate at the top is much larger. <laughs> so you have less space for your digital planner to work with. It is quite a large because it starts from here and goes all the way down to the end of this toolbar. That's because GoodNotes has a drop down toolbar and I am hoping that they get rid of that. That's the main reason I'm in Note Shelf is because I want, I have this big beautiful um, iPad. I want to use up as much of the screen as possible and I am losing out on quite a bit of space. So now my planner is this um, used up in this space rather than having way more space for it. All right, so now that I have explained that part, I have created this planner, which is in, in Note Shelf as well, but I've created this planner on the iPad Pro 12.9 for Note Shelf. When I bring this exact planner into Good Notes on the iPad 12.9, I have wasted space. And the reason is, is because of the amount of room at the top that takes up <laughs> the space that you're working in. I have created, oh, that doesn't belong there. I have created the same planner on the iPad Pro 12.9, the four by three ratio for the GoodNotes app. So now I can have my toolbar open and this planner fits perfectly in the GoodNotes app. So this is all great. I've got a planner, a digital planner for the GoodNotes app. I've got a digital planner for the Note Shelf app. And by the way, Notability has the same small real estate as Note Shelf. So the Note Shelf uh, planner fits perfectly in the Notability app. But here's the, here's the thing. What if you don't have an iPad Pro 12.9? What if you are on one of the different iPads that are listed here. If you are an iPad ninth generation, then you're okay. Whatever I've created on the 12.9 will fit perfectly 
in the iPad 9th generation. But what if you have an iPad Pro 11 or the Air 4 or the Mini? They are different ratios. So my planner that I've created on the 12.9 for Good Notes and for Note Shelf are going to not fit perfectly on your iPad. And they're not going to fit perfectly in your note-taking app that you prefer. And I'm going to show you why. So we're just going to go into my photos right now. And I just created some screenshots just to show you what's going on. All right. So this is a screenshot of my planner on the iPad Pro 11. And remember, it has quite a different ratio than the Pro 12.9. So if I'm creating on the 12.9, and I've created uh, a planner for the GoodNotes app on 12.9, and now I've brought it in, I've purchased it, and I've brought it into my iPad Pro 11, into the GoodNotes app, app, I am going to have wasted real estate because this Pro 11 is a completely different ratio than what I've created it on. And that is why you are frustrated. And even more so, I'm thinking that this is uh, the actual app, but it is a uh, photo, so I'm going to swipe over. Even more so, this planner that I created on the 12.9 for Note Shelf brought into iPad Pro 11 in the GoodNotes app, because that is what you're using, has even a more wasted space. So it really does make a difference what the creator is using and what they're creating for, which app they're creating for, and what you are using and which app you are on. Now, this is the iPad Pro 11, and this is the note shelf that's open. And ironically enough, this planner was created on the 12.9 for the GoodNotes app. And when you bring it into the 11 in the note shelf app, it fits perfectly from top to bottom, side to side. So obviously, those two sizes are a match. <laughs> Um, however, if you take the iPad Pro 12.9 note shelf planner that I've created and you have an iPad Pro 11 and you put it into note shelf, you're going to have some wasted space along the edges because of the fact that your iPad is a completely different ratio than the one that I created on. So yes, this is frustrating. I do think that um, creators, you know, it's not impossible for them to create for every single um, iPad. However, it's super time consuming and you just have to create what you create. So as a uh, buyer, you have to educate yourself as to what the digital planner that you were buying, what ratio was it created at for what um, note taking app? Yes. Whatever the creator creates will work perfectly on every iPad and on every um, note-taking app. However, you are not going to be guaranteed that it will fit the whole screen. So you will have wasted spaces and that is why you are frustrated. So I hope this helps uh, let you know exactly why when you're purchasing your digital planners off of Etsy and you're bringing them in and they're not filling the whole screen. All right. Thanks. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody.